Hey, what's up, everybody? It's fucking Schnell. Uh, it is Thursday. It's a little later than usual. It's about 12.25. Um, yeah, we are gonna, um, do a little, a couple, we're gonna do two reviews, alright? But, um, I don't have them physically. I have them on my computer. So, sorry, but... It's just what I've been listening to lately is, uh, besides, you know, all my, like, my Cannibal Corpse vinyl has just been on constant repeat, like, I, I fucking love it, but, uh, when it comes to my iTunes, I have 16 days worth of music, so I figured, why not, let's, uh, check out, uh, the new, uh, Wolfhammer record, uh, uh, Crawling into you know, something my fucking eyes. Crawling into the back, the black sun. <laughs> Crawling into the black sun by Wolfhammer. Seriously, if you like Knock Mystium, but hate Lake Judge, like later Knock Mystium, Assassins, Black Metal Part One, Knock Mystium. And like instinct decay, then like just listen. This sounds like a like a B side from like that Knock Mystium record, but it's not. Like it kicked fucking ass. Like I love this fucking band. Like, one of the best USBN bands right now. Like uh, especially like uh, I, I put Wolfhammer like up there with like Leviathan. Like Zapser, um, Judas Iscariot, uh, Wolves in the Throne Room. I'm trying to think who else. Like I, re I really like. I really love the first Twilight record. Like I, I loved it. That like when I was in uh, Skeletal Fruit Tanks, my old like band, we would listen to the self-titled record just on repeat. Especially the last track, uh, Beyond Light, uh, Magnificent, I forget what the last track is called. I know it's Beyond Light, but, uh, I saw, like, a live version of Knock Mystium playing with, like, Malefic on stage, and they're, like, doing vocals for the, the song, but on the record, there's only, like, a couple lines, but they're really, like, muffled and are just, like, you know, like, ooh. I mean, they're not as guttural as like that, but they're all, it's like, it's really buried in the mix, and I, I really wish Twilight would have stuck with that original lineup, like, with, like, it, it, you just had everyone that was, like, big in USBM together, like, on the later albums, like, you have Aaron Turner on the second one, don't get me wrong, big Aaron Turner fan, I think everything he does is, like, pretty much, it, it, it's, it's good, everything that, uh, the dude from Sonic Youth, uh, I can't, Thurston, or whatever, I, you, let's just call him Mr. Moore, the one that said black metal artists are like, the whiningest people in the world, but you also had, when they're making the third, uh, Twilight record, which, uh, I, I, I really, really, really fucking like, but, like, you have Blake Judd stealing, going to jail, being a heroin addict, and it's, it's just a fucking mess, you get, like, it sucks, because, like, whenever you mention Blake's name, it's, like, you mention Neil slash Imperial, but I think it just goes by, like, N now, uh, Jameson from, uh, um, Creed. And, uh, his amazing, amazing column in Decibel, uh, I think it's called Low, Low Culture. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Uh, again, subscribe to Decibel. This is the new issue. Pick it up on newsstands. Not a big Among a Mark fan. But, uh, I actually forget what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, Neil, Neil, uh, James. Yeah, it's a low culture. 
but it seems like whenever anyone ever brings up, like, fucking Blake Judd's bullshit, like, his name and his band gets carried into the conversation, which is bullshit, like, he's probably sick to death of it, and me even mentioning it just adds to the fucking, you know, bullshit, but... I don't know. It sucks because I really like like I, I like not miss the um, Instinct Decay and Assassin Black Metal Part One. I do like Part Two a little bit. Like I like the like some of the Killing Joke like influences, but that's like kind of it. Like the last track on that record is the best one on it, which I don't know. I know, like, the whole record's just about, like, drugs, and, I don't know, just, <laughs> I want to hear about, like, grimness, and fucking, like, solitude, and, like, vicious hatred, like, Leviathan, Leviathan just sounds like some otherworldly essence of, like, what hatred sounds like in an auditory fashion. That's the best way to describe, like, what Jeff Whitehead does with Leviathan. I was actually put on uh, the new Leviathan record, Scar Sighted, which I have yet to pick up on wax. Uh, somebody should send me a copy. But nobody watches these fucking videos. I don't know what you're supposed to fucking do, but... Nobody watches them, but I don't care, because this is cheaper than going to see my therapist, so, whatever. Fuck health insurance in America. Fucking suck. I have a $3,000 deductible. How the fuck does that happen? But the new fucking, I'll, I'll put my favorite track on, the new uh, Leviathan, Within Thrall. Starts off kind of weird with the his clean vocals, but then it just gets straight into the Leviathan you loved from Massive Conspiracy Against All Life, that a lot of people didn't think was there during True Traitor, True Horror. I was about to take a Leviathan poster off my wall, but I don't want to fuck with it, because it's just actually like taped up there to a bloodbath, Nightmares Made Flesh poster, I don't want to fuck with it, but like, What's well, not sick to me. Like, I really want some fucking vinyl, but it's on, like, Jeff's own label, The Val Record, but the CD version's on Brokeout More. I, I want the vinyl, because, like, each different track has a different piece of artwork, and it's my favorite Leviathan record, aside from Master Conspiracy Against All Life, and, like, the demos, I love to death, especially how mockery of the cross, so fucking good, and uh, Tentacles of Horror, uh, and uh, fuck, you know what, the 10th sub-level of Suicide great. I don't think Leviathan's made a record that I, besides True Traitor, True Horror, it would be just the least focused sounding of all of his records, and he was even stated saying that in his decibel interview. So listen to this. I'm scared too, I have a non bootleg Leviathan shirt. Official, hold on a second. The Harlot requires self-extinction. The has got this bloody razor on the back. Sick fucking shit. Always get compliments about that shirt when I wear it to like shows and shit. But, uh, yeah, it's raining outside, it sucks. But we're gonna end this off with, uh, you know, Let's leave you guys with my favorite immortal record, Pure Holocaust. We'll see.
start with the first track. Unsilent Storm. In the North Abyss. Frank Mullenhan. That's the Frank Mullenhan. You got to take your tongue out. But, anyway, uh, we might reveal a guilty pleasure record of mine later, but I'm not sure yet. But, anyway, this is Smell, Peace, and Pussy. Have a good day, folks.